Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will take you through KCSE 2016 and the oral poem that was tested on in that year. So this is a series of lessons that I've been giving of the previous oral skills that have been tested in paper one. The last two videos I did a revision of KCSE 2017 oral song as well as 2019 oral song. Today I'll be looking at this oral poem here and the oral poem is entitled Giraffes. Beyond the brassy sun stair where each shade crouches beneath its substance at mid-noon, the tall giraffes are gathered in a glade, grazing the green fruit of the midday noon, patched with the sienna shadows of the jungle. In pencil slender attitudes they stand, grotesque in camouflage, each curve and angle is merged into the backcloth of the land. These circus creatures of a poet's dreaming, whose destiny on silent strings is spun, are patterned in designs of nature's scheming to move through dappled hoods and done. Strange genesis in which the substance seeming, the shadow is the street of the sun. So the poem is by Phoebe Hesketh. And that was the poem which was there in the Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education, the year 2016. So questions, the first question, the candidate is expected to describe the rhyme scheme of the poem and explain its function. So in describing the rhyme scheme of a poem, what a candidate needs to know or to take into consideration is the end words in each and every line. And those end words in each and every line will be said to be rhyming if they end in the same syllables or if the syllables that come at their various ends are pronounced the same. So, the first end word we have shade and uh, as a matter of course when describing the rhyme scheme then we assign given letters to the various end words and we begin from the first alphabetical letter that is letter a so there we have the word shade so we will assign as a matter of course letter a then the second one is mid noon mid noon so the final syllables is not the same as uh, shade and for that matter we will move to the next letter and that is letter b then the third line the end word is glade the first one was shade shade and glade end in the same syllable so it will also have letter A. Then moon rhymes with mid noon, moon and noon. So that is also letter B. Then uh, the fifth line, the end word is jungle. We will assign C. Stand, we will assign D. Angle rhymes with the jungle. C. Land and stand. We assign letter D. Dreaming. E. Span. F. Scheming with dreaming. So we assign letter E. Done and span. Letter F. Seeming and scheming and dreaming. Letter E. Then lastly, sun. We have letter F. So after this, what the candidate simply does 
is to consolidate the various letters together and put them down and you are going to end up with something like this a b a b then c d c d then e f e f e f so that is the rhyme scheme so you need to show whether the rhyme scheme is regular or irregular so it is normally regular when it is predictable when it follows a given pattern that shows predictability when it is unpredictable then it is irregular like in this case if we would have had ef gh ij then it would have been pre uh, predictable but in this case after cd cd when we should have ef uh, when we should have ef ef then we have we have then ef ef instead of now moving forward so it is a kind of irregular so the function we were also asked to explain uh, the function and the function here is that it helps to create memorability it also creates rhythm that is also what we call the musicality so you can come up with any of the two function either to create rhythm or to make the poem uh, memorable in uh, question two you are expected to identify any two instances of alliteration in the poem and uh, we need to know that as a sound device or a sound pattern alliteration is whereby there is the repetition of initial consonant sounds in words that appear on the same line of a poem an example is in line one beyond the brassy sun stair where each shade so the alliteration exists in uh, the sound of boo at beyond and the sound of boo at brassy so beyond the brassy so you can underline the letters that stand for the sounds the initial consonant sounds that are repeated again if we move to line three in the words gathered and glade so there is also the repetition of initial consonant sounds g in both cases so gathered glade then uh, again in uh, one two three four five six seven in the seventh line there is camouflage and a curve So there is the sound k in camouflage and sound k in curve. Again, remember that we are looking at uh, the sounds, the sounds, not the letters. I have seen candidates make mistakes when in identifying alliteration, they look at the letters and they mess. Like for instance, if choir and chair appear on the same line, then there is no alliteration there because in a choir 
the sound is sound k while in chair we have sound ch so i hope that one is well understood lastly the question asks how would you say the last line of the poem so in the such cases we may have one point for the verbal and another point maybe for non verbal and the last line here is this the shadow is the street of the sun so one response would be that i would i would use a falling intonation to show finality so uh i would use a falling intonation to show that the poem has ended again i would stress the words shadow street sun and these three words would be stressed to show the incredible and admirable way in which the giraffes move across the dappled woods and done so that is uh, a revision for you for the KCSE 2016 under oral skills and specific to oral poem in 2018 and 2021 again the same oral poem was tested on so when you visit my when you watch out for my next videos i will be handling the oral poem that was tested on in 2018 as well as 2021 because in 2020 there was a riddle that was tested on this part if you like what uh, we do here and you are new you can kindly hit onto the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that any time produce a video like this youtube will automatically notify you thank you until next time